welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be setting up my second bullet journal of this year. So this is my bullet journal and it is by this company, Shrivwell. And the reason I'm setting up this journal is because I think that I didn't want to mix my personal life with my YouTube life. So this is going to be my YouTube journal where I show you guys all my spreads, ideas, and doodles and everything like that and also keep all of my YouTube ideas and everything to do with YouTube goes in here. I'm super excited to show you guys how I set this up. I'm going to be kind of sharing with you some key spreads that I've used in the past for setting up my journals and the ones I'm using in this journal. I've bullet journaled for two years now so I'm pretty comfortable with setting up journals and also know what spreads I use and need. So if you guys like this type of content, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below and also turn on those post notifications so you get notified every time I post a new video. And with that, let's get into this setup of this bullet journal. Also make sure to go check out my Instagram at Bujo by Leah. All right, so getting straight into this, I just wanted to kick it off with this journal belongs to on the front page because I felt like that was fitting. I just put my name down there and this journal did not come with an index. So I skipped the first page because I knew I only needed a double spread of an index and then just wrote index and it's a pretty simple one. I didn't make it very fancy because I didn't think that it was a very important spread necessarily for me so this is how i um, set it up with the topic of the page or pages um and then the page numbers that it goes from or is one spread so at the end of this video i went back and put all these spreads into the index which helped i didn't number the the numbers um there's no numbers on these pages which is fine with me so i just need to number them all but i did that after the video because nobody wants to see somebody just writing numbers for 20 bajillion minutes and then i finished off this index with just some washi tape because i thought it looked a little plain but yeah this is just the simple index and let's move on to these more fun spreads so this next spread is probably my most used spread in my bullet journal it is a grid spacing cheat sheet. Amanda Rich Lee did this in her bullet journal a few years ago um, for her setup and I just like was like that is the smartest spread you can ever have. So I have used this spread in both of my bullet journals. It is super helpful just to have it on the left side so that you can flip back to it as much as possible. It's a pretty handy dandy spread for many reasons. The most being that it just helps you space everything out. But I think that if you, you know, have trouble with spacing or just don't want to recount your spaces every time, it just really helps. So I split my pages into halves, quarters, and thirds. You can do more, but that's kind of what I figured out works for me. And I have been using the spread forever, so I knew it had to go into this bullet journal too, especially because... I'm going to be doing a lot of weekly spread layouts and layouts for different spread ideas. So I definitely needed this one. But yeah, that is my grid spacing cheat sheet. After I did all of the numbers and spacing, I just went in with some different colored Tombow Dew brush pens and drew some color in there so that every thing has a different color. So the fourths have a different color, the thirds have a different color, and then the halves have a different color. Pink, purple, and blue were my colors that I used. But yeah, I just finished off the spread with grid spacing cheat sheet in cute letters, and that's pretty much the spread. Mm -hmm. 
I sketched this next spread off camera just to get a feel for what I wanted it to look like, but I just wanted to put in a little calendar from July to December because it is already almost July and I just wanted the second half of the year in here for different dates and just for spreads that I might need in the future. But yeah, this is a super easy spread except for it takes a really long time to draw and all those little calendars, I know like you can get snaps, stamps for them and that would be really helpful, but I don't have one yet. So I had to draw all of the calendars out by hand, which is not my favorite thing to do, but it really helps you in the end <laughs> with all your organization of dates and just knowing what days and months go with everything. And I didn't mess up anywhere in this, which was great because sometimes I do with the days. But yeah, just drawing six little boxes for the calendars um, with my Sacro Pigma Micron. This entire video was pretty much, I used my plastic nib one um, just because it's a good thickness for pretty much anything you want. And then I split it half and half with the calendars and then the YouTube goals, which I thought were just going to be helpful for me to understand what I wanted this to be and kind of it just helps me set out what I want to do. So I just finished off all these little calendars with some headers, um, just some pink, purple, and blue ones, just like the other page spread has those same colors. So I thought I would tie them all in. All of the Tombow dual brush pens are from the same pack. It is the pastel pack. I just got it the other day and was super, super excited about them. So that's probably why I use them in this setup. But yeah, just writing all of the days on the top. And then I just do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday in abbreviations. But some people like to do Sunday to Saturday. But I just find like these are helpful just because I've already done this same layout in my other bullet journal. So basically I was just copying it. But what I do is I always start with one going down 8, 15, 22, 29, and then fill in from there so um, I don't mess up that way. And it really helps to figure out where everything goes. So that is my tip for calendar layouts is just putting the one row of numbers down and then filling it in from there. All right, moving to the back of the journal, I just decided to put my content ideas and brain dump in the back because in my other journal, I do all my collections in the back and I don't know why it just made sense to me more to put them in the back, but it did. So I'm starting out with another Tombow dual brush pen from that same pastel pack, writing out content ideas and then just adding a big dark blue drop shadow. It didn't work out as well as I thought it would but it looked cute in the end so I'm happy with it after that I just added some lines to accentuate all of the downstrokes from my Sacro Pigma Micron and then I also outlined all of the letters after because I thought that it would look more uh, put together and pop more with the drop shadow that way so that is the content ideas spread I wish I did a little bit more around it but I'm not upset because I've already transferred all of the content ideas and honestly not having anything else on that page actually helps the last page I'm doing is a brain dump and I just started out by putting the title brain dump in big pink bold letters and outlining the entire spread with my Sacro Pigma Micron in the pen 
for my plastic dip thickness. The last thing I did to complete this spread was just write some cursive inside the big um, letters just to give it a little bit more fun and dimension. This is the flip through of the final setup of this bullet journal, the index, the grid spacing, this calendar and YouTube goals, and then the brain dump and content ideas. Stay tuned because next week's video is my July plan with me, which I'm very excited to show you guys. And if you guys like, of course, this content, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for weekly content. So yeah, bye.